thinking about your canvas bite, what would you like it to look like? Do you want it to hang like an ornament? Are you interested in having it hang on the wall as it is? Or perhaps lean up against a desk? As you're thinking about this, think about what you want your design to be. I chose for my first one to be a donut. I love donuts and I thought this would be fun. My second one is uh, going to be a pattern and I decided it would be fun to lay a pattern underneath the donut so I would layer them both. In this section, I'll take you through step-by-step step how to make a canvas bite. The first step is the line drawing. The line drawing does not have to be detailed and it does not have to be perfect. It's just to give you a general idea of where you'd like your items to be. Once you're satisfied with your line drawing, you can begin painting. Remember, as you paint with acrylic paint, you can always go over something if you don't like what you've done. So you'll see throughout this, I start and as I'm painting in my line drawing, I decide the cup should be a little wider and I paint it to be a little wider. As you're going through, think about if you'd like any shading. You don't have to do any shading. You can, of course, leave it as big block colors. This is known as graphic painting, and it's a really pretty way to paint. But if you'd like to do shading, you can always do that. Shading is done by making colors that are either darker or lighter than the color of the object. So as the teacup here is pink, the shadow is going to be more red, and the highlights are going to be mixed with white, so they'll have a, a white tint. Each painting will be totally unique, and that's the best part of it. Remember that part of the fun is creating something all your own. It can be something that you're interested in having or something that you've always wanted to see if you could make. The best thing about acrylic is that because it dries so fast and it's a thick paint, you can always paint over it. So if at the end you decide you want to try something new, you can always paint over your surface. Make sure that you decide if you want to do the two stacked paintings that you wait until they're dry to glue them together. As you begin to finish your painting, see if you have left any of the underlying line drawing on top. If you complete your painting and you'd like to see the lines again, you can always go over and redraw the lines on top. You of course don't have to do this, and in this painting I've chosen not to do that, but you can always make sure that you have the black lines on top or any color you choose if you'd like to do that after the fact. As you're looking to glue your ribbon to your painting, just make sure that your painting is dry before you flip it over so you don't smudge it. And when you flip it over, put a big dot of glue, put the two ribbon uh, ends so that they both touch the glue, and wait a second so that it starts to dry, and then put some tape over it to make sure that it sticks, along with a little more tape on top so that it won't flop over. And with that, you've finished your canvas bite. Thank you so much for joining us for this virtual social Sunday, and we hope to see you again uh, in another week.